What a beautiful morning here in Salt Lake. Nice skyscape before the sun comes up. Welcome back to a new vlog. Some of you are gonna know right away, I am in a new pickup truck. Like what the heck? I'm gonna get off the phone because I'm just pulling out on the road. Got a new rig, guys. <laughs> I'll show it to you when I get home. But uh, some of you have probably seen on the Hush page or maybe social media what we got going on here. Give you a good look at the new truck when I get home. Got all the fancy techie stuff that I'm not used to at all, like push button start, automatic brake, park brake. I don't know. I I had uh, David, the salesman who helped me at National GMC Buick, do a walkthrough on the Hush page. So it's on the Hush blog if you want like a even more detailed walk through but i just got done with the gym chest day is done before the sun is even up here's a quick look went with the silver the interior this is the elevation package big screen touch screen obviously the four door got to have that space for all the other guys and our gear but yeah this is the elevation package the 5.3 liter v8 got a two inch level kit some wheels and tires and yeah that's the rig thing i think i like the most about this truck is the grill i like the dark features um a lot more black instead of chrome but in my opinion it's a dang good looking truck it's a lot nicer than anything i ever thought i'd own and i think it had like three or four or five miles when i test drove it we've already got over 300 so we're really breaking in but this is the new rig guys it's a company truck the hush bot um i think we're where eventually all three of us are gonna get new pickup trucks. And I had to make like a quick, quick decision in 22 end of year. Many of you guys, I'm, sh I'm sure you guys know why, but that's what I went with. I'm stoked about it. Um, I love the truck already. This guy, my Tundra 2010, I'll probably just clean it up, detail it up. I just put brand new tires on it, the KO2. So these are brand new. I'll probably just whip this thing back to shape, shine it up and sell it as I do not need multiple trucks. As you guys know, I have always done that in the past. Still got the Hush truck and the Chevy, but yeah, I don't need multiple trucks. Getting home and wanted to share a uh, special delivery, special package delivery I got recently. While I was out on my last elk hunt, a uh, big package showed up. Kate took care of it, unboxed it, and set it up here in the living room. So let me show you this thing. Check that out. <laughs> An antler lamp. Man, when I was a kid, I always wanted one of these here. Let's let's ditch the curtains. Get those down and uh maybe turn on the light. But this is an antler lamp from Nick from Custom Antler Designs. He makes all kinds of lamps, antler chandeliers, antler decor. Some of his work will absolutely blow your mind if you go over to his Instagram page, which is custom.antler.designs with an S. You'll find him on Instagram if you just go to the search tab. But these mule deer antlers are all absolute giants. Like this one, just looking at them, is probably my favorite. Big, big, typical frame all bladed out. This one underneath has got inlines and a cheater and a drop tine that was broke. And then the... Uh, highest one has got a giant main beam a couple cheaters but yeah let's turn the sucker on let's actually hit these off and uh let there be light sweet sweet addition to the family room i think i want i probably want to move this table in a little closer and that way it wouldn't block so much of the couch but that turned out sweet and man, I'll tell you what, those are some giant mule deer sheds for anybody who's a collector. You know how big those are, but it's a great addition to the living room. So I just want to say thanks to Nick uh, from Custom Antler Designs for building this and shipping it. The thing is dang sweet. His website is customantlerdesigns.com. Anyways, thanks again, Nick. Um, appreciate it if you guys go check his Instagram out. So now I'm probably going to take care of some lunch. And I've got dog chew orders to go fill. Just again, if you guys saw the last vlog, thank you guys for the dog chew orders. Keeping me busy, which I love. I love to stay busy and uh, love to do business. The funnest part of the dog chews is getting videos and pictures from you guys, um, seeing the dogs enjoy them. So I know my dog loves them. 
Looks like those who are customers seem to enjoy them too. Here we go, filling dog chew orders. <laughs> Such a fun little side hustle to do. I don't mind it at all. I really feel like the dog chew business, it's got some potential to be like a successful company, to be profitable, etc. I feel like if this thing needs to go big, it needs like a full-time person, cutting, sanding, shipping, social media, and customer service. Those are the things that this thing really needs to be bigger. But just at the level it's at and the support you guys show me, I'm so thankful for because it's something fun and fulfilling to do with the sheds I find that I never used to do when I would just sell them to the horn buyer by poundage. So for those of you who are curious, where do they come from? This is a stack of sheds I found this last year. I haven't even had to touch them because I haven't burned through the inventory that I paid for. When I first started selling these, I ran through my inventory um, and then there was still demand. So I actually bought some antlers, many of them and mostly of them from Shed Crazy. Thanks, Ben. But now I have more inventory than I can sell. <laughs> a lot more money out than money in at this point so it's still fun i know i'm going to sell through it's just a matter of time so thank you for those who have purchased dog shoes it's racksnacks.com r-a-k-s-n-a-k-s.com so those who follow me and uh, all the hunting videos i upload you might remember last year i went to old mexico with my buddy Devin, I killed a sweet coos buck, which is at the taxidermist, by the way. CJ from Trophy Room Taxidermy is doing the mount. And what am I looking for? And it already looks sweet. Big old heavy coos buck with the bladed eye guards, if you guys remember. But I'm leaving tomorrow to do the same hunt, different area, but hunting coos bucks. And we've got a freaking dream team going on this hunt. Which includes Shed Crazy, he's going. Let's go. Mexico. Tundra hoodie. Tundra trucks. <laughs> That's true. Dude. These are the new hoodies from Hush that are going to be coming out soon. They're slick looking, huh? Mm -hmm. Used to be part of Team Tundra, then you went and got a different truck, bro. I still got a Tundra. We still you got it. Sell it. You're off the team. Real quick, guys, I want to, I'll talk about this more at the end of the vlog, but Hush just launched a phone app that you guys need to download. It's on the iOS and Google Play um, systems or whatever so you guys should be able to download it no matter what phone you have these hoodies are going to probably drop exclude not exclusively but they might we might do like an exclusive 48 hour launch of these hoodies and hats on the uh, app so go check that out but yeah welcome ben to the vlog getting some gains at mobetas dude a mini is the same as a regular the only thing with a regular is they give you more scoops of rice than max allen it's two choices. That's bush loop, dude. I thought this had more meat. I thought that only got one piece of chicken. Nope, the mini, two choices of meat. The regular, two choices of meat. More mac, more rice. Bush loop, dude. All I want is the meat. The, all you bought was freaking nothing. One scoop of rice for an extra $4. <laughs> Here we go, we're gonna grub. This is like our go-to place uh, when Ben's in town. Pretty much anybody is in town. We come here. Be good, pup. Sit. What up? Oh, it's a freaking party over here. Come on, Wes. West what up? Oh, sorry. I don't know if I have mentioned it whatsoever, but I'm going on a coos hunt in Mexico tomorrow. Ben's coming. Unfortunately, Wes is not. Wes is actually here to buy Ben's truck. Yes, sir. Doing a truck swap. So, coos deer, for those of you who do not know, they are like a legit yeah. miniature whitetail deer that typically inhabit the desert country of Arizona, New Mexico, and Mexico. So... I've hunted a handful of them. This is actually a deadhead I picked up out of state that I was able to recover. Pretty cool little buck. I can't remember who it was, but they asked me if I'd shoot this buck on this hunt, and my answer was yes. I love character, love the cool stuff. There's a lot bigger frame bucks than that out there, but that's a shooter in my book. But Ben and I getting together, working on the uh, optics. Just got set up with the new pair of binoculars and bino adapter system for the tripod. Pretty slick. It is slick, it's gonna be good for picking out them gray ghosts. That's right. So <clears throat> finally got a new pair of binos, Razor UHD 12 by 50s. A little bigger than I usually pack around, but I think is great for a hunt like this. Put them on the Ridgeview carbon tripod. I think we're ready to go. And I just updated my phone case for my uh, digiscoping setup right here. The new 14, 14 Pro and 14 Max all in 
adapters are available on the website. So I just got the 14 Pro phone and finally got myself a case. You guys know how simple it is to digiscope. If you watch my stuff, I've shown you many times. Goes on right there. Pretty easy. Super easy. Can't get it wrong. Shoots vertical or horizontal. So that was a horrible, horrible, horrible um, like example of how it works. But I'll show you guys some clips right here. You guys can watch some of the clips I took of elk on my last elk hunt. Jade, I'm getting after that dog too. Look at this thing. I just gave the steward today. <laughs> So like, give it to me. <laughs> you guys, please buy the splits. Your dogs will love them. Sad day when you gotta see your, your trucks go. Yeah, I put a little air pressure in there. I like that back in and out. That's a good floor mat for you. <laughs> I got it all cleaned up. I'm like, dude, I'll probably just keep it actually. <laughs> I don't want to detail a truck or clean it up at all. It's like, man, maybe I'll just keep it. I'm trying to do better, be better about it myself. It's hard. So you guys saw in the first part of the video, we got the new GMC, which means I am pretty sure I'm gonna sell my truck, Tundra. 2010 143,000 miles brand new bfg goodrich ko2s on it um so if anyone is seriously interested in the pickup let me know in the comment section i got a detail and just fix a couple things on the shell that are driving me nuts from the bumpy roads but i'm probably going to sell that thing at some point here soon all right guys those last couple clips were from out here in mexico we made it to our destination where for the next five days or so we're going to be hunting coos deer so martin chag's out here Ben is out here, Devin is out here, and then another one of Devin's friends is going to meet us about halfway through our hunt and uh, finish up the tail end with Devin. So this is kind of the little house, ranch house that we're hanging out in. Give you a quick look. This is the bedroom. We got a couple bunk beds. I'm on top. Shed Crazy's down here. M Chag's up here. Devin's down here. So we got all the gear. Little restroom to the left and uh, a nice size kitchen and dining room. So sweet little place for out here in the middle of nowhere, Mexico. We went out today, um, finally got to see this place in daylight because we drove in here in the dark. We didn't see any deer today. We saw some javelina and we enjoyed a killer, killer carne asada meal last night for dinner. But we're waiting for the guys to kind of hear back uh, from what they, they saw. Devin and Martin both went a different direction than us. So. Just to kind of recap the vlog, a couple things I wanted to bring attention to if you watch this long, thank you. Download the Hush app. I'm gonna put a link in the description box. If you search Get Hush In, make sure you put a space in the app store. It'll find it the fastest. So make sure you download the app. Um, check out the new 14 phone cases at allin.co. Of course, use code Eric whenever, whenever you shop the store. There's new t-shirts, new phone cases, and new inventory is actually coming soon for some of the different scope models. So like Gen 1, razor viper and others are coming soon so stay tuned for that also ten dollars off on hunt expo daily admission tickets on the website so if you go to huntexpo.com use code hush you get ten dollars off any day admission ticket i think tickets are 25 so if you use the code it's only 15 saves you 10 bucks that way you can get a churro and maybe a hamburger when you go in so hope to see you guys at the hunt expo of course hush will be there with a big giant booth Thanks for watching this vlog. I'll be filming while I'm out here in Mexico. And of course, this hunt will eventually end up on the Hush channel. So thanks for the support, guys. We'll see you on the next video.